In the wake of the grand jury report on clergy sex abuse, the Pittsburgh Diocese is now struggling to try to avoid bankruptcy. The diocese needs to pay a much higher than anticipated number of claims to victims of clergy sex abuse. So the diocese wants to use a fund for a now defunct orphanage. But as KDK investigator Andy Sheehan reports, the diocese is now facing a court battle. The number one priority is to reach out to folks uh, who have been hurt. The church scandal has left Bishop David Zubik with two monumental tasks, compensating the victims of clergy sexual abuse while keeping the diocese out of bankruptcy. To do that, he's looking in large part to this defunct orphanage in the South Hills and its endowment of close to $9 million to help fund his victims' compensation fund. And so we're working through the proper channels to make sure that we have access to those funds and we can be able to use those for the RICP fund. But State Attorney General Josh Sapiro, whose report detailed the abuse of minors at the hands of diocesan priests, is saying not so fast. In papers filed in the Allegheny County Orphans Court, his office says orphanage founder James L. Toner, quote, would never have intended his charitable gift to be used for this purpose. When he died in 1899, Toner left the diocese $140,000 to build and operate the Toner Institute, which became home and school to orphans and troubled boys from 1921 to 1977. The Toner Institute is gone, but the Toner Trust has now grown to between eight and nine million dollars. In court papers, Shapiro said, quote, this trust was established to help better the lives of children and its purposes have no correlation to the attempted use of paying the victims of alleged clergy sexual abuse. But the diocese says it needs the money. We have only so much that we can work with. While it had anticipated between 200 and 250 claims to its victims' compensation fund, the diocese now estimates between 350 and 400 claims, a liability in the tens of millions of dollars. Rather than use collections, the bishop wants to sell real estate and tap funds like the Toner Trust. A hearing is scheduled for next month. And so a judge will decide if these Toner Trust funds can be used to compensate the victims of clergy sex abuse. If not, the diocese will need to take more drastic steps to avoid bankruptcy. In Brookline, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.